Earthquakes are an exciting and perhaps scary natural phenomena that most Californians are familiar with. Earthquakes happen along faults, fractures in Earth's crust along which movement has occurred. Faults are concentrated near Earth's plate boundaries. So why does that movement cause the ground to shake? So this model here can help demonstrate how this happens. The board and sandpaper represent the fault surface, the fracture in Earth's crust. On either side of the fault is bedrock. So this is the rock of the Earth on either side. As tectonic stresses act on the rock, the rock does not slide smoothly as it does with these block models. Because in reality, there's tremendous friction between one block of the crust and another block of the crust, as billions of tons of rock on either side are either pulling or pushing or trying to tear past one another. Because of this friction, the rock does not move immediately in response to the stress. Instead, the rock slowly bends, building up strain energy. And eventually, the built-up strain is stronger than the frictional resistance between the rock on either side of the fault. The more strain that builds up, the more movement occurs, the larger the earthquake.